Hey, what's going on everybody? MHP Jason here. Also, we got in the house MHC, Money Hungry Cat. <laughs> All right, that's, uh, that's, that's his intro. So I wanted to bring y'all a quick video. I found an amazing find today. Uh, sorry, I found an amazing find this week. It's, it was a book uh, a few days ago. It'll be on my next video that I come out with. Uh, this book used on Amazon shows it sells for $350 and I paid $1.91 at the Goodwill. Uh, I have found books. Uh, I've been selling on Amazon a little over two years and I've found books over $100 before, but I've never found one that's broke a $200 or $300 mark. So reason I'm making this video is because I want to show you how I do my research. And um, honestly, if, if you do it differently or you've got some ideas for me, throw them in the comment box and uh, you know, I'll be happy to uh, to take a look at that because I definitely am not an expert in Amazon. I feel like I'm pretty proficient, but definitely not an expert. So let me show you what I found that's used worth $350. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, that's it. Not a very big book, a little bit skinny or thin. Um, it's called Instant Light Turbisky Polaroids by Thames and Hudson. It's, um, there's not a lot to it, so I'll show you some interesting things. First thing, it was $24.95 when it was new, and it was, original edition was 2002, then it was reprinted. This one's a 2004 edition, so maybe that's something I need to look at in the listing. It was also reprinted in 2007 is what it says, so... All it is is a book with Polaroids in it. I, I, you know, I guess there's some art people out there who really value this book. So what I'm going to do now is jump over to my computer and uh, let's take a look and see if we can really find out what the value of this book is. Okay, so I made it back over to my desktop and I'm on the Amazon Seller Central page. And this is how I do my homework to find out if I'm pricing my products right. Uh, for Amazon. And if you do it a different way, please let me know in the comments. Again, I'm not 100% expert on Amazon. I have been selling there for a few years. I feel like I have a little bit of knowledge, but always willing to learn. So the first thing I do is you can either type in or scan the SKU number of the book. And there it is. It brought up our listing. So what I usually do is click the down arrow and make sure that I can sell it. Mine is in used condition, so I can sell it, sell it in use. So I click sell yours. The next thing that I do is I go up here and there's 15 used. So first of all, the rank is now 730,000. When I originally got this book and scanned it, it was around 500,000. Just means one hadn't sold in, you know, probably a week or a few days. It made the rank go up a little bit. No big deal. 730,000 in, in books is still, it's it will sell. So I can see that there's two brand new for $500, but I'm more interested in the used. And mine is going to be in good to very good condition. So let's go and click on the used. And what I look here, look for here is what people are actually selling theirs for. So the lowest seller for fulfilled right now is $178.98. And seller fulfilled goes anywhere from $178.98 all the way to $290.64 plus $498 shipping. So let's click on prime, semi-prime sellers there are. Well, there's one. And they're asking $350. So the book sells new for $500. If you can get it on Prime for three hundred and fifty in very good condition, that's possible. I mean, I, I could possibly see that happening because a lot of people don't even look at other seller fulfilled items. Some of them just buy off Prime. So if you're looking at this book and it's five hundred dollars new or three hundred and fifty used, I can see you doing the three hundred and fifty. But I'm not one hundred percent convinced that that's you know the going rate. So what I do next is I go back to our add offer and I copy this ASIN number right here. So let me go and copy that. And then I go over to Camel Camel Camel. And Camel 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 is a website where it'll show you the sold price history from Amazon. So what I'm gonna do is at the top up here just paste my ASIN in. And here it is, there's the book, looks exactly like ours, same title, everything looks good. So what it's bringing up now is all the sales from third-party new. So mine's used, so I'm gonna take new off 
and I'm just going to click used. And I'm going to back this down to a year. So yeah, they're, they're definitely selling. Um, here's one that sold for 500 and these are all seller fulfilled. These are not Amazon Prime. Here's one that sold for, it looks like around 350. Um, you know, another one above 300. Here's some that looks like around 250. Uh, here's one that sold for 174.99. So yeah, th these books are selling. Uh, some have dipped down to the $100 mark. So, you know, just based off this information, I know that I've got a good book. I know it's going to sell. Now the question is, is where do I price it at? Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and price mine maybe $299 to undercut the other person and just see what happens. Leave it on there for a few weeks or a month. And if it sells, great. If not, um, lower the price. I forgot to mention while I was recording this that the reason I didn't bring up the green box there that says Amazon um, to show the Amazon sales is because Amazon really doesn't have any used sales price history on this book on Camel Camel Camel. Um, so there, were, there haven't been really any that's sold by Amazon. So that's why I had to use the third party um, as my reference point to what I was going to price the item at. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. Price. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any uh, suggestions, comments, uh, I know a lot of people that watch my channel, there's some really good Amazon booksellers out there. So if you've got any suggestions for me, please drop in the comments. And also let me know what you would sell this book for. If you if you own this book yourself and you found it at Goodwill for $2, what would you sell this book for all based on this information here or based off the research that you can do? Please let me know. I'd be curious to see what everybody thinks. All right, well, I appreciate y'all watching the video. Hope everybody has had a great week out there reselling. And the video with the uh, with this book in it will be coming out in the next few days uh, from when I picked it up from the Goodwill. All right, thank y'all for watching.